It's time to review one of my favorite products from Avast Marie, and that is their Calpster. Uh, this is a larger unit of the two that they make. If you notice, it's a pretty simple design. You are basically using their RO water, the top off water, to refill this thing whenever it gets low. And it mixes the calc in here. So the calc washer is a very good product. I prefer calc in my tanks because it's usually pretty effective and doesn't really cause a lot of issues. Um, only a catch-22 is some people say that you can run out of not getting enough calcium if you have a lot of acros, but in general, there are ways to speed that up. You could evaporate more water by using fans, um, but as far as price-wise, calc, you really can't go wrong. So here is Cal's washer that they are making now, which is an interesting product. I have not tried it yet, but calc is usually generally a pretty good price. It's usually not hard to use, so I prefer it in a stir. And that's what this is. The stirrer is very simple. It comes with a stirring S basically. And that goes into this uh, adapter that holds it onto the motor. And then here's your tube for your calc to come in. I did modify the tube because I don't want it to um, create a siphon and back siphon into my perfugium or my uh, auto top off water. So that is one thing I modified. And then you know, just a standard cord to pop loose so that I can take it off easily. The other thing I did is I use a adapter here to stick it into a bulkhead on the side of my sump. I'll show you guys that in a minute. But essentially you put a couple cups of calc in there, it stirs it. Um, I also modified the cord so when it's plugged in, and I don't want to take um, the whole thing off, I just come on, click it, right? And that allows me not to have to try to unplug this from the apex. Um, but in general, it's kind of the same stuff um, with Avast. They're using these little server motors, and there's another one right here, right? And as you can see, it's serviceable. Um, they didn't do screws like they did on the plank. I kind of wish they did, as it would be nice to be able to just unscrew the cap when you need to. Um, I have replaced this motor in the last couple years that it's been running, but for the most part, they're not hard to get new motors. Um, it's not real hard to replace either. And it's just held in by a couple screws. And then here is a spot for a pH probe. So if you wanted to put a pH probe and monitor the calc level, that would be nice. I have not done that yet. I probably should. Um, again, it is just a gravity design. So if we look, gravity is just overflowing in through there. And the stirrer just stirs up the calc as it goes along. And then the overflow into the tank is where it goes. Again, a good product. They did a good job. It holds up really well. Those low RPM motors are great for this. It's quiet. You don't get a lot of noise. And it's relatively simple design. Uh, the next part I will show you it hooked up and how it works. There. But the way this is done for the calc to be installed is I have it on a small platform here and then look in the corner here there is a bulkhead that is being used to um, to inject the calc that needs to be cleaned out once in a while because it does start to calcify as calc is very um, well it's calcium so Basically the design is this. It's pretty simple. Whenever I'm ready to add or clean out the calc reactor, I just take it off. But in general, it's pretty easy to put back in. I basically come here and I slide this in. And as you can see, the bulkhead is right there. You just push that connector on. It is not glued in. It's not needed to be glued in. 
and as long as the calc reactor is higher than the, the unit, that is about it. So now the water will come down and it will go into the, the bulkhead and just flow down in. So that's pretty easy. Um, then you come back here and you hook up the reservoir line, which is right here. And let me get my cords out of the way here for the MP60. Um, but essentially that's just the water hose, right? And then here's my reservoir. I have a big reservoir. Um, I think this one is 20 gallons for my tank. And again, it's a 300 gallon tank, so. Um, and then you just hook everything back up and then this actually just fills up with calc and I will show a video of it filling up and actually running with calc for the next part of this video. So it'll be a three part video and I'll probably combine it all into one. But the essence of it is calc reactor overflows into the sump, gets mixed up in the sump, which is down here, and then it goes into the rest of the system. I've had no issues with this way of doing it. Again, the easy answer is to take it loose. Um, you could undo the bulkhead every time. I prefer just to leave the bulkhead undone so that it's just gravity and then when you need to, you can clean it out easily. So none of it is glued to the sump. Alright guys, now that we have it locked in place again and where it's supposed to be, um, you can see that the reservoir is next door to it and it is sealed off actually because if you look I put bulkheads and there is no entrance into this but these two. And the reason was a couple months ago, probably about six months ago, I came home from vacation and tiger mosquitoes had actually got in there. There's Asian tiger mosquitoes and I was wondering how am I getting bitten all the time in my house? And we're, you know, San Diego, but uh, essentially they had started breeding in the, the water tank. So I switched it out for this and there are just no way for anything to get in there now. Um, so here's your calc reactor and it's in place. Now all you have to do is add calc. This time around, I'm gonna try the Avast Marine calc which I haven't done before. So it's kind of an unboxing kind of thing with this one. And I am also going to add some of Brightwell's Calc 2. I'm interested to see how this does. It's got calcium, magnesium, and strontium. So I'm hoping this will be helpful to the tank also. So let's go ahead and add some and then I'll turn on the stirrer and we'll show you how this all works. So we will start with the calc 2, maybe just do half a cup or so of this. And it's pretty simple, you're just going to lift up, dump it in, let it start to kind of settle down. And at this point, I, I don't turn the stirrer on yet because of I don't want it bouncing around why I'm trying to um, put the calc in. So now I'm going to put probably another cup and a half or so of the Avast Marine version of this. Oh, it looks like they've included a cup, which is nice. Very nice. That's cool. So I'm using... So there's a nice cup in here. That'll be the other thing. Is that it is very powdery and it can make a mess. Their powder is very, very good. It's very fine. It seems like it's very thought out. So I'm gonna put two of these cups of it in there. I don't know where they're getting their cow from or sourcing it, but it seems like really, really good powder. All right, I will clean that up with the vacuum in a little bit. But now that it's put in, you can see they gave you a nice cup of it. I'm gonna close that up. You don't want to breathe this stuff, it's bad for you. And then we're just going to plug this calc stirrer in. And as you can see, it's going to start stirring the calc. Uh, a 
good picture of it moving down here if you look carefully. It's just spinning away. It's nice and slow. It's not very crazy or fast. It's just a nice, slow, steady pace. And as you can hear, you can't hear it stirring. It's just quiet. And as it settles, right now it's still trying to settle. Um, as it settles, it will start to be less murky. Um, every once in a while, you do need to clean it out. Um, again, that is pretty much the gist of it. All right, guys, here's the calc stir again. As you can see, the calc is being stirred at the bottom very slowly. And this is after it cleared for a few hours. So this is basically what it does. And you can see that it easily is stirring the calc slowly. And the pump will just run. It's a very strong pump and there's no problems with that. Uh, essentially what happens is when the auto top off turns on, you'll see the water start to kick in here. And it'll start to fill the chamber. And when the chamber fills up, then it um, stirs the calc a little bit down here. And the water will go down the pipe and down into the sump. So that's how that works. And then all it does is, you know, it stirs into the filter and it comes along and you can see the pH of that 8.22 right now. It should jump a little bit when it finally gets over to here. It shouldn't be that drastic though. So that's pretty much how it goes. And you can see that it's jumped 0.2. Um, I would expect it to jump a little bit more as the time continues on, but it's not a big deal. 